Welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to explain how to use GDB to debug C programs. GDB is the short form for GNU Debugger. This tool is widely used in the industry to debug complex C programs. Let's start understanding about GDB using one simple program. I have written a source file named test.c to achieve a specific output. This program is supposed to take a bill and it is supposed to generate the tip and then it should print the total amount after calculating the tip and adding it to our total. So let's understand how can we compile this program in order to debug using GDB. So for the first thing is we will we will give GCC. This is important because we specify minus G flag in order to preserve symbol names in the final executable. GCC minus G minus C test.c is the source file of the program that we are trying to consider and then we are trying to create a object in the file named test.o and after that we will take test.o minus o and we will create an executable named test so if we run this test directly dot slash test here we are seeing that total is 2000 so for a 100 rupees bill we are getting a total of 2000 now if we want to debug this uh, function, de debug this simple program, what we can do is, if we don't know about GDB, we will add a couple of print statements after every line and we will try to analyze the data once we get that uh, after running the program. So instead of adding a couple of print statements, what we can do is we can run this process inside the GDB. We have the executable name that we have created using these commands and we can run this uh, executable inside gdb using this command gdb space dot slash test so what this command does is it will run the test executable inside gdb please don't be scared by seeing lot of text it is just saying that it is reading symbols from the executable file when i when i say symbol symbol refers to file name function name variable name and types so now it, it, it has read uh, the file symbols and we have to run this uh, executable inside JDB. If we just give the run command just by specifying this command run and if we give enter it is asking whether it wants to download some debug info. We can give yes here and here also we can see the output that we got before total is 2000. If you just run a process inside GDB, it will just run normally. So the, here also we got to total is 2000, but we want to debug this particular function. The first thing that we are going to learn in GDB is breakpoint. A breakpoint refers to a line number inside a particular source file where the program execution stops. So let us understand how can we add breakpoint inside this function. So we know the line numbers in the source file and let's say I want to add breakpoint here at line number 7. So if we add a breakpoint here, whenever program reaches this line number, this execution stops. So for adding this breakpoint, we should use break command, break space and the source file name that is test.c and with colon, we should mention line number, line number is 7. So once we give this command break file name colon and line number gdb confirms it has added a breakpoint at file test.c and line number 7 and now if we run this program inside gdb what is going to happen is the execution stops at line number 7 so i gave run command after adding breakpoint here you can see that gdb confirms breakpoint hit at line number 7 what it is saying is it hit a breakpoint at line number 7 so this is the line number 7 when I say breakpoint, now the program is here. That means the line number 7 is not yet executed. The program has executed only till line number 6. So what we can do is we can print the local variables which are present in that uh, stack. So if we can try to print the bill value. For printing a variable inside a GDB, the command is print space the variable name. We can use tab here in order to get some help. Otherwise, we can directly give print space bill. So if you give print space bill command, 
it is going to display a variable name and a variable name as dollar one but the value is equal to 100 so this means the bill value is 100 at line number seven so we are at line number seven because we added a breakpoint here and bill value is 100 that is expected we assigned 100 to bill and value of bill is 100 that is okay that is correct and if we try to print any other variable we will get garbage values here because we have not yet assigned any value to these two variables but we can try printing it because since they are in scope we can try printing and check what is the value if you see print tip it is giving some garbage value named 32 which is not at all correct and if you try to print the total it also prints some garbage value here it is printing zero so now now we are at a break point that is line number seven so if you want to continue what we should do is we should give the command next so if we give the command next and if we give enter the execution proceeds just by one line so if we give next the seven we were at line number seven now seven line number seven executed and now we are at line number eight so since we are at eight we can examine the tip value so now if we print tip we are getting value of 20 for tip so our bill value was 100 and we are multiplying 100 into 0.2 which comes as 20 so the tip value is 20 that is correct that is expected value and now we are at line number 8 so once again we can give the next command to execute one more line so now now it has executed this line now we are at line number 10 that is what is specified by gdb here so now we are at line number 10 we can try to examine what is the value of total so if i print total okay total is printing as 2000 so our bill was 100 and tip was 20 but total is 2000 so now we can say that okay our uh, somewhat our error in the output is introduced by this line because for these two lines we were seeing the expected values but after execution of this line we got we are getting a total of 2000 for a 100 rupees bill so now we got to know that this line is somewhat causing the trouble so now if we examine it closer so instead of adding the tip we are just multiplying the tip so this is how you debug programs using gdb just by using breakpoints prints and next statement i hope you understood these concepts there are advanced concepts using gdb we are going to explore this in further videos thanks for watching this video if you are interested in learning more about other data structures and algorithm related problems you can check out other videos from my channel